Thursday, May 23rd, the battle for the title of the Ultimate Ecosystem Engineer is on. Watch as two remarkable engineers go head to head. Meet the Beaver, a semi-aquatic master builder whose engineering skills are as sharp as its teeth. This rodent doesn't just change the landscape, it transforms it. Next, we have the sociable weaver bird, a small but mighty avian architect from the deserts of Africa, whose communal nests are marvels of natural engineering. Who will win the title of helping our planet the most? Stay tuned. Engineers use scientific principles to create solutions that help us overcome challenges and improve our lives. Unfortunately, across the United States, we face the challenge of deteriorating infrastructures. Civil engineers work tirelessly to fix these problems, planning and maintaining structures like bridges and dams. Then there's heat stress, which can increase disease in livestock and reduce milk production in cows. That's where agricultural engineers come in, working to develop systems to mitigate these effects and enhance animal welfare. But there's a different kind of engineer born with the skills to reshape ecosystems. Let's meet the natural world's ecosystem engineers, a title given at birth to organisms. Ecosystem engineers are organisms that significantly modify their environment, creating new habitats, altering the physical structure of ecosystems. Their activities are often crucial to the survival of other species. So just like human engineers, ecosystem engineers are making our lives much easier. But who will take the title of the ultimate ecosystem engineer? Beavers are nature's architects, building impressive dams without any need for modern tools like an excavator or even a hard hat. First, beavers meticulously chip away at the sturdy bark of trees along the riverbank, allowing them to fall in the rushing current while using the branches to slow the river's flow, creating a base for their dam. Then they fortify this base with twigs, leaves, stones, and mud, each carefully positioned to build a watertight superstructure. Beaver dams are usually five feet in height and can stretch over 300 feet in length, creating deep water reservoirs that protect them from predators like wolves and coyotes and provide easy access to food in the harsh throes of winter. And their ecological significance is vast. Beaver dams support wetland ecosystems, prevent flooding, and filter out toxins, playing a crucial role in environmental health. But the beaver isn't the only prominent ecosystem engineer. There's another one that often goes unnoticed. Next up, we have the sociable weaver bird, a common little brown bird in the Kalahari region of Southern Africa. This ecosystem engineer is able to construct a massive nest with a dropped haystack appearance that acts like an apartment building able to house up to 100 sociable weaver families for the entire year. That's up to 500 birds. These birds work together interlocking twigs and grass to create sturdy, insulated structures lining each nest chamber with soft grass and flowers to protect their eggs. Within the larger complex, each family has its own private entrance, and these nests can last over a century, continuously occupied by generations of weavers. Climate controlled and resilient, these nests provide comfort against the extreme Kalahari summer and winter months. So do their actions also have ecological significance? The social weaver bird's nest structures create a platform for tree climbing mammals and large birds to use as a safe refuge. And soil directly below a massive nest is highly enriched with nutrients from weaver droppings, helping the surrounding vegetation and any animals feeding off of it. So who will take the title of ultimate ecosystem engineer? Well, in nature, there's actually no competition. From elephants to coral to beavers and social weaver birds, these engineers make our world a better place. So there's no need to pick just one. In fact, human engineers can learn a lot from ecosystem engineers. Oh wait, they already have. If you like this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to follow and subscribe for more amazing engineering news.